Hello, it's Grant Abbott here from Gabbett Media, and today's Sculpt January 2000. Today's Sculpt January 2019 was Rage, so it was mood, and the mood was Rage, and you can see my work here. I'm quite pleased with it, how it turned out. It took me a, about four to five hours. It shouldn't have taken that long, but there were lots of glitches and lots of uh, painful things along the way. And I think I was just being a bit slack today, uh, although it's yesterday actually. I'm slightly ahead of myself again um, after my Jacqueline Hyde mess. Uh, but uh, I'm, yeah, it went okay, uh, but it did take a long time, longer than it should have. Uh, so you can see here, I got my blob out again, and just, yeah, going straight from a blob, uh, I thought would make sense, and uh, when I'm doing sort of caricature, um, what are they called, busts, uh, then uh, going straight from a blob, I think is fine. And uh, getting a sort of rough shape, I, I got some nice reference images, one of the Incredible Hulk, uh, when he was raging. And I thought, oh, that's quite a good one. So that was a strong inspiration. And then that combined with lots of other ones uh, helped me along the way. I thought I was quite good at these sort of caricatures. I did a few last year and uh, thought it'd be fairly straightforward, but it, it wasn't. I thought I was better than I was, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, I think it turned out okay in the end, but I thought it was gonna be a bit quicker. I had problems getting the neck muscles right. They're supposed to be muscles. And uh, I tried to follow anatomy, <laughs> uh, an understanding of anatomy, but obviously it's ridiculous anatomy because he's got a huge neck. And it didn't quite seem to work, but it sort of just about worked anyway. Uh, it, yeah, I think it just about worked. Uh, all the links are in the description for uh, graphics tablets uh, recommendations and the graphics tablet I use. A whack on Mobile Studio Pro is what I'm using at the moment. Uh, thank you for all the support and comments from everybody. Uh, and this is going to be about 20 minutes, uh, just under I think, um, which uh, I put a sort of vote out and people uh, suggested slightly longer. Generally the majority of people said slightly longer uh, is beneficial. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, oh, slight pause there. Uh, yes, yeah, so a few glitches along the way, and uh, it wasn't really glitches, it was lagginess. Lagginess, if that's a word. Uh, my computer was lagging on many occasions, which is a bit strange. I feel like it might have been the daily build of Blender 2.8, or it might just be a Blender 2.8 problem. Um, it's difficult to say at this stage. I did actually have to take this back into 2.7 for one brief moment, and then bring it back to 2.8. That was pretty interesting because it reminded me of aspects of 2.7 and I didn't like it. Uh, I've, I am starting to feel more comfortable in 2.8. Uh, there's a lot going for it. Uh, it. Even with all the glitches, I don't think I'd use it if I were doing an important production. I suppose this is kind of important in a sense because this is uh, my YouTube channel, which is important to me. Uh, so, uh, in a sense, I am using it for important productions. Uh, and if you're saving regularly, it's not so bad, because you've always got that backup that you can, if you've got any issues, export and go back into 2.79. Yeah, so it's not, not quite so bad. Uh, as, as Some people are getting frustrated with 2.8, and I can understand the frustrations, definitely. Uh, I. Uh, felt ragey at times, not ragey really, but uh, there was a few uh, choice words on occasions. <laughs> uh, but uh, it, it's got so much going for it. Uh, this took five minutes to render 250 frames because of Eevee. I mean, that is major. The, the mat caps, uh, mat cap, mat cap, mat caps uh, are really nice and uh, the look dev and the fact that you can put it into Eevee and rendered mode and all that sort of thing. Just just brilliant. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, what was that bing? Um, yes, ah, so uh, something to talk about uh, instead of me rambling on. Uh, I thought I'd uh, push it into shape and I forgot to record that bit. And then I thought to myself, well actually, why not do that again and have two, sort of two versions and uh, one really extreme, one one less extreme and see which one I prefer. And I preferred the one I did second. And that kind of reminded me that I need to 
uh, wherever possible, uh, and I was doing it with the poses, uh, do a couple of versions and then, because it's such an early stage, you can do that and you can experiment more. Uh, so um, in the early stages, uh, some people use lattices for that, someone reminded me about that the other day, a uh, good point. Uh, so you can sort of put a lattice around it and, and distort and pull around the lattice and that will pull around your shape. Um, or you can rig it, uh, but uh, do a couple of those, uh, maybe more than a couple if you've got time, uh, and that will give you um, more chance of success in a sense. Uh, so you can push and pull the, the shape around and uh, often uh, artists often warm up in fact so uh, don't go with your first pose or your first um, expression uh, try a few different ones if you've got time that is uh, not everybody has five hours to spend on sculpt january but i think that is uh, some some good stuff that i've picked up there i think that's well worth uh, trying out uh, so yes i went with the second one in the end and then started smartening it up and that seemed to take quite a while. I wanted to go for this sort of very square, rigid um, uh, design, what do you call it, uh, style, stylized character. Um, usually I have very sort of curvy, organic looking models and I need to practice and develop my style. Um, so uh, a sort of square, rigid style I thought might be good. Um, it, was, it was good fun trying that out actually. Um, and it wasn't as easy as I imagined it might have been. Not that I would imagine it was easy, but I, it was hard than I thought. Uh, let's put it that way. Uh, but yeah, giving that sort of square edges. I've seen lots of superhero sculpts and things like that with those uh, squared off, chiseled look, as it's often called. Uh, so I wanted to have a go at that. I thought I'd better make more of the teeth, certainly, because the teeth are very visible. And that's something I've hardly done any of because I just, for, out of laziness really, I often do my characters with a closed mouth so I don't have to do teeth. Uh, so this was quite interesting and I thought I'd just start off with a plane and extrude it, add a solidify modifier and a subdivision surface modifier and a mirror modifier, put them into place and for some reason it glitched a bit, maybe something I did. Um, but it didn't allow me to keep the mirror. Uh, so someone was asking me that the other day. If you move these things into position, as long as you don't set the rotation, the, um, you should be able to sculpt uh, with symmetry turned on and it should understand its local axes. So if I have something and I move it like this, um, I can still, uh, as long as I don't set that rotation, the symmetry st should still be local and, and symmetrize across. But it didn't work <laughs> after all that uh, so I just sculpted both sides it wasn't too uh, time-consuming to do the uh, teeth so it wasn't a problem but uh, and if it was I would have uh, sort of remade them and uh, tried to figure out what the problem was so I just sort of carried on uh, anyway uh, I upped the detail quite well I say earlier than normal I would say not um, quite soon but earlier than normal certainly uh, because I was happy with the shape so I thought I'd get in there and I wanted those really sort of sharp edges but I think I probably went too high too early maybe I'm often saying that but that's something I'm still learning and getting used to uh, as I do more and more sculpts I kind of wonder whether those sort of issues um, are less of an issue when you go to a program like ZBrush uh, they seem uh, from what I hear to be very good uh, with high poly meshes on not so powerful machines. Uh, that, um, uh, when I say not so powerful machines, I'm thinking machines like mine. Um, it is a powerful enough, I would say, and it's a, a good hobbyist's machine. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, if you are talking industry, this is quite a low spec uh, machine with my GTX 980. And uh, I always say fourth generation i7, but I don't know whether that's the right terminology at all. Uh, but it's the 4000 series, so I call it fourth gen, but it's probably absolute rubbish. Uh, but anyway, someone can correct me. Uh, who knows about computers out there? Uh, I, I would love to know more about computers and build my own machine. I, I really would. Uh, but it's something else to learn. And uh, sometimes you can only specialize in one thing. Uh, some people have talked about my website and it's uh, pretty poor. I can appreciate that. Even though I should, I've got a bit of a design background, but I just don't feel like I've got enough time to 
get back into web design and that sort of thing. So uh, because I'm I'm wanting to develop my sculpting more, and you only have so many hours in the day in this, that you can uh, give to this sort of thing. So although I do uh, think being a master of many skills is a good idea, uh, it is nice to be able to specialise as well, and you can't uh, spread yourself too thin, as the expression says. Anyway, doing the teeth a bit more, I want to do the molars on the bottom. Uh, they are, yeah, molars, yep. Yeah. Oh dear, forget these things. Uh, so, um, <laughs> teeth. I shouldn't talk about teeth because people might. In fact, that's that's the uh, the nastiest comments I've ever had on YouTube are about my own teeth. Uh, so, uh, so hopefully there'll be no memes about my teeth uh, at this point. Um, uh, but yes, uh, I have a big gap in my teeth, unfortunately. I, I came across a glitch here. Uh, for some reason, my um, my mesh just suddenly joined itself to the back of the mesh. It was really strange. But in order to get around that, it's quite low res still at this moment, with the teeth that is. So I was able to just uh, go into edit mode, delete some faces and tidy it up without too many problems. So yes, um, I, I put a fair bit of effort into the teeth um, because uh, it's quite a big part of this model and like I was saying the other day about detail and how detailed you should go uh, because this is just the face and the shoulders I suppose uh, it's important to put a fair bit of detail into um, your mesh in this area uh, that should make sense I think that's fairly obvious um, yep so tidying up the teeth uh, got a few reference images because I thought uh, what the teeth look like um, it's strange isn't it you you look at these things all day and then you think well but what do they actually look like uh, and you have to study them closely get a few references and play around and uh, I think they work fine in the end it's interesting um, I'm using constant detail so I am using Dyn topo or dynamic topology um, but uh, I'm using constant detail and I tend to stick with constant detail uh, I just sort of I like to know what detail level I'm going to. If I use the relative detail that and zoom right in and uh, it's it changes the resolution of your brush strokes and therefore adds more topology. Uh, so you have to be a bit careful and especially with my machine and uh, fairly detailed sculpts I worry that I'm going to start lagging. I did uh, a fair bit of this on my mobile Studio Pro uh, unplugged so it was using its own processor and all that sort of thing. Uh, so. Um, it's, it's not as powerful as my machine uh, and it struggled a bit uh, in the later stages. Uh, so um, that's why I like to keep on constant detail. Now you notice my eyeballs are different sizes and that's impossible. I know someone's going to say that, uh, but I am still doing the caricature thing. Actually, I think that chin is impossible as well. And come to think of it, the whole face is impossible. Uh, but um, I, I saw a, a, some really nice art, uh, sort of 3D artwork from someone. Uh, do you know, I'll put the name, if I remember, I'll put the name uh, over here, <laughs> somewhere. Uh, because, uh, and they did sort of these really uh, bulbous eyeballs and I thought, yeah, if someone's really angry, their eyes should be popping out. Uh, so um, I thought um, I'd make them really bulbous, stick out and different sizes. I looked at Ren and Stimpy. Uh, and uh, uh, Ren uh, has uh, these eyes that pop out because he gets angry all the time. If anybody remembers that cartoon, if it might still be going actually. Uh, but I used to quite like that, some weird stuff going on there. Uh, it took me a little while to get to the position of the uh, pupil as well. When you're angry, your pupils are dilated, so they're much smaller. Uh, so I had to bear that in mind. I did just double check and look that up as well. But I'm pretty sure this is the case, but let's look it up. Uh, so do check these things out. It's, it's not good if you make a mistake like that, uh, that's glaringly obvious to some people, uh, because uh, it, it's just a good idea to do a tiny bit of research. Um, I say that, but I don't always do it. <laughs> like Jacqueline, Jekyll and Hyde, uh, last time I haven't read the book or anything. Uh, that would be good research, wouldn't it? Read the whole book uh, in the middle of Sculpt Journey. Anyway, uh, back to this. Uh, it's you can sort of hopefully you can see it sort of shaping up here and that's when I decided to up the resolution of my brush I use the uh, simplify brush uh, usually I do a detailed flood fill uh, so that it's all the same detail but 
uh, actually uh, there's no point in putting detail on the back for example because uh, no one's really looking at that and it doesn't need that sort of detail so I used the simplified brush and painted around the place to give it the resolution of my uh, brush so you put it on the simplify and you set your resolution paint nothing happens but it does actually change the topology nothing happens to the look of your model anyway the shape of your model uh, but it does increase the resolution and then you can go around smoothing things up <coughs> and uh, sorting things out which is what I'm doing here I think in a moment I try out doing some uh, veins I thought some veins would be quite fun uh, but they kind of messed up and looking back, I don't know, whilst I was looking back through this just quickly, um, I thought actually they look kind of fun. What, what didn't I like about them? Uh, but I was finding them quite tough because I'd upped the resolution and I was on about, uh, I think it might have been about one and a half to two million faces. So that's tough for dy dynamic topology uh, to cope with when you're on that level. So my computer started lagging a bit and it started getting difficult to sculpt. Uh, so I thought actually uh, this could end up taking a while so I'll just go back to where I was but um, I forgot to save I thought I'd saved it before I did this and uh, so I had to do a bit again uh, that was a bit silly of me uh, but yep yeah, I keep making little mistakes like that we do learn from our mistakes don't we so uh, they're all good uh, they're not really frustrating uh, they're massively good Okay, I thought I'd leave this bit in. I'd, I've doubled the speed, so that we're at 2,000% at the moment, but you can see Blender keeps crashing on me. I'm trying to do a Boolean. I use uh, JNM's Fast Carve. Actually, I'm finding that better and better the more I use it. Uh, but this, the teeth just were not joining to my mesh, and I think it's because there was too much topology. Uh, so I reduced the poly count. Uh, so you can, you can decimate to a good amount, because decimate uh, as a modifier um, doesn't lose too much detail if you don't decimate too much it it will give you uh, detail in the right areas where it needs detail and bigger areas it will reduce the detail uh, so I did a decimate um, on this on the mesh uh, and then um, booleaned my teeth but I think is it in this bit uh, I might have already done it but I had to take it back to 2.7 uh, 2.79 to do the boolean uh, because it's getting really frustrating and wasn't working 2.8 Tried lots of different things like exporting as FBX and all that sort of thing, bring it back in, didn't work. I changed the uh, Metcap here because I wanted to smooth it out uh, nicely. I often forget to smooth out certain bits and you think, oh, that's a bit lumpy, that bit. And so the Metcaps that are really shiny help you see if, whether it's smooth or not. Um, so they're, they're useful to use. And what am I doing here? Oh, uh, that's what there, I'm up to here. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, the Discord server. Uh, and uh, there's a few people sculpts on there. Uh, well done. Uh, I t I'm trying to go through these fairly quickly because I don't want to take up too much time uh, um, sort of taking them apart and uh, uh, telling people um, where they could improve and so forth. But there's some really nice work. Uh, uh, Double Tap did some excellent stuff. Manor Who's done some excellent stuff. Love the um, reference images for the flash there. Uh, really nice. And I like the idea of and the style. Uh, sculpt needs a bit of work. Uh, that's double taps, uh, really nice um, Sonic the Hedgehog style there. And there's the finished piece. I sort of got those in the wrong order, uh, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, the finished piece, um, I'll hopefully sort that out when I edit this in a second. Um, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. Um, I tried a bit of lighting in EV, always trying to improve that as well at the moment. Uh, so having lots of fun, uh, getting there with EV, getting there with 2.8. Uh, but yes, I did have to go to 2.79 today, unfortunately, uh, but only for a brief moment, and then I was back into it with 2.8. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, it, it really does help me get through it. Um, all the nice comments uh, which uh, keep coming in, that's very good of you, and I will see you next time.